Here are the five best things about living in Mast Hope Mountain Community. I'm Will Claus from Davis Art Chant Realtors, and if you're considering moving up to the area, here's a bunch of things that you need to know about the greatest parts of living in Mast Hope. First of all is their amenities. Their biggest thing is skiing. They have a relationship with uh, Rec Rec Recreation Management, which is a company that owns um, a ski operation, and they lease the mountain from Mast Hope, so you have access to Ski Big Bear uh, that's included with your dues, and it's one of the best mountains for family uh, friendly skiing for beginners that are learning. They have magic carpet lifts. Um, I remember learning to ski and we had to hold on to a tow rope, which would drag us up the hill. This one, you just kind of walk on this little conveyor belt, brings you back up to the top of the bunny slope until you're comfortable getting down some more difficult terrain and um, uh, get, getting onto the chairs. Uh, the other great things about uh, Ski Big Bear uh, they have plenty of different terrain. It's not a huge mountain, um, but it, the lifties are always friendly. The food is great. The conditions, they really take care of everything and they know how to operate a ski slope effectively. We've taught our four-year-old and six-year-old how to ski there. They're now 11 and 13 and can do pretty much any uh, trails on the East Coast now. And I think that a lot of that was because of their learning uh, to ski at Ski Big, ski big Bear. What a great experience it, it was for them um, and how friendly everyone was to make their, their time there, um, to make them really enjoy and love skiing. A um, couple of the other amenities that they have up right up by the lodge there is um, a pool. Uh, they actually have two pools. They just built a brand new pool. The old pool wasn't all that old, but uh, they saw the increased uh, need and the increased demand to have more space around. So they created another pool, uh, which has a zero entry into the pool. So you don't have to worry, just a gradual slope in. So you don't have to worry about diving in or using steps or a ladder. So if you have difficulty walking or kids, um, the different types of pool that they have, diving boards, they have water slides that go in, small water slides, but it's a lot of fun. You can spend a ton of time up there um, at the pools and not get bored, especially now since there's so much space to be able to spread out. Um, they also have a tiki bar. That's a big uh, fan favorite of Mast Hope. It's a tiki bar that's up there. You can grab a uh, burger. It's kind of traditional American food, um, but their drinks are great. Uh, the beer is cold. You can you can eat there while the kids are swimming in the pool and, uh, and just really enjoy yourself without having to run back home to get them fed. Uh, moving down, they have a fitness center. Part of the fitness center is um, kind of the whole community where they do water aerobics, they do snowshoeing outside, they do have an indoor room where you can do yoga or Pilates, um, they have a cardio section, they have weights, they have machines. Um, so the fitness center is there. Um, Another thing that a lot of people don't know about that Mast Hope has is access to the Delaware River. They own a couple lots that are down on the, on the Delaware River. And yes, we are that close to New York State that if you're down there, you can skip a rock across the, uh, the river and hit New York State. Uh, many people don't know about that. I don't think it's something that they overly advertise, but it's a really great spot if you want to go fishing. Um, if you want to drop in a kayak upstream and bring the, that down, you can kind of have a little pickup point there. Um, it really is a neat uh, part of the association. Um, they also have horseback riding. Uh, your guests will pay a little bit for horseback riding as they will skiing, but for your family, your immediate family, you can uh, learn to ride horses, do trail rides. They have an indoor riding arena. They even have a little petting zoo up there. Uh, so the horseback riding is um, a, a big favorite by a lot of people too that are into more uh, equestrian events. Um, onto the other side of the community, it's all one big community, but you'll hear people say, oh, I live up on the mountainside or the ski side, or uh, I live down at the lake and the beach side. Um, the beach is big, uh, sandy beach. They do have a snack shack down there. They have a spot where you can rent, uh, not even rent, but you can just show your pass and take out paddle boats or um, canoes or little row boats. I think they have... Um, so it's on a motor boating lake. Um, if you did, they have a boat launch there. It is restricted horsepower, but part of the lake is wide open where you can take the kids tubing or use the jet skis out there. Um, and then the other part of the lake is uh, marshier, but it's great for fishing or kind of more of a peaceful kayak ride. Um, so you have best of both worlds uh, in terms of that. It's one of the few motor boating lakes in the area, um, but it's a, a big draw. Um, 
The second thing that I think you'll love about Mast Hope is it's, uh, they have a, a restaurant and a bar built in. I wanted to make that a part of the amenities, but I thought that that was such a huge draw um, that you don't have to go very far. Yes, Mast Hope is very secluded. Um, and that's, that brings me to, to my next point, which I'll get into in a minute. But um, if you wanted to go up for um, a spot at the restaurant or a beer after skiing, um, they have a big bar there. They have a big restaurant. Um, they serve great food. Uh, they do like a Monday night football uh, beer special or something. So you don't have to worry about driving down into town. Uh, closest town is going to be about uh, 15, 20 minutes away, but you could get everything you need up there. They also have a marketplace. So you need to swap out your propane tank on the grill or get uh, some eggs or uh, uh, a sandwich. They have a little deli there. So it pretty much is its own little oasis in the middle of uh, middle of nowhere then that you don't really have to leave the premises to get anything unless you want to do really big grocery shopping or something. Um, going back to that, the, uh, the, the third best thing or uh, third on my list about living in Mast Hope is how secluded it is. Um, you get to get away. I had a client that said I'm on, I live on Long Island. I could see the LIE from my house. Last thing I want to do is come up here and see traffic and crowds of people everywhere. You come to Mast Hope, they're half acre parcels. Uh, there's plenty of green belt. Um, so Greenbelt is community owned land that you can hike on, um, or which brings me to my, uh, fourth, uh, best part about living in Mast Hope. And that's that it's ATV friendly on this green belt. You can ride your ATVs on there. They do, um, they have the trails that are sometimes blocked off for cross country skiing, but you can ride your ATVs. Uh, if you're on Mast Hope property, as long as it's not like the horseback riding trails or the ski slope, you can ride through, uh, through the woods. Um, and it's one of the few communities that also allow ATVs. So it's one of the few that has um, ATVs. It's one of the few that has uh, a motorboating lake. And it brings me to my fifth point. It's one of the few that's still rental friendly. Many of the communities have banned rentals up here. I'm not sure why. I know no one wants a frat house or a uh, bachelor party coming up next to them every weekend. But Mast Hope is different. They regulate it. Um, they do charge the tenants to use the amenities now. There is some changes going on with the passes, um, but uh, it, you are able to rent your house out there still. Um, Lackawaxon just put in an ordinance, um, which doesn't ban rentals, which other townships have done. Uh, it actually just kind of regulates it. They want to make sure that uh, everything's safe and that uh, you're not being a nuisance and that everything's regulated based on health and safety. So we get people that ask all the time, can we Airbnb this house out? Most of the time it's a no, um, but with Mast Hope, it's a yes. Um, there are plenty of people in there that do rent their house out. Um, so if you're looking to use it as an investment, that's another thing there. Um, so those are my top five best things about living in Mast Hope. I also do have a top five worst things. So if you want to like and subscribe, um, I can send you that video as well, or you'll see it as it gets posted about the top five things, the worst things about living in Mast Hope. Sometimes the rentals can be on that list as well, depending on what you want to use your home for. Um, but again, the way that I see it right now is it's a lot of families that are coming up to just enjoy the amenities, um, enjoy some time away. They're not up there to keep you up late or have uh, parties. And in fact, that's in no one's best interest to um, to rent their house out to someone that's going to possibly you know destroy it or harm the community or disrupt the neighbors. Um, so a lot of misconceptions about rentals, but one big thing we know is that since Mast Hope is rental friendly, prices have shot up quite a bit. Um, the amenities have been being able to be improved upon, um, even from what they were, and uh, management's doing a great job. Uh, at running the association. So please let me know what other questions you have. Again, my name is Will Claus from Davis Archant Realtors. My conf uh, contact information is in the description below. And if there's anything at all I could help you with in terms of Mast Hope, uh, in terms of real estate in general, or if you had more questions on the amenities, please don't hesitate to reach out. I look forward to working with you.